Hey guys, I'm Sebastian with Ninth Island Connection, bringing you another room tour. We're here at New York, New York. It is an MGM property, and we were able to book this room for one night on an M Life comp. Now, something you should know about if you're gold or above, there's no resort fees and no taxes associated with those resort fees. So, this is a free, free room. So, that is really, really cool. However, when we did check in, there's a charge in our card of about $90. So that's a resort fee, the tax with the resort fee, and a deposit for incidentals. I think that was like 50 bucks or something like that. Um, but they assured us that once we check out, all of that is returned back to our card. For whatever reason, even though we don't pay resort fees, they still charge you up front and then put it back on your card after you check out. I don't know, it's something new, but I love that it's free, free, and we'll definitely keep an eye on that. So here we are in the entry. So mind you, this is a My Vegas comp room. So I'm not sure if it's basic, if it's standard, if it's an upgrade. I don't know what to expect, expect with this. So um, if you've had a different room with a My Vegas comp at New York, New York, comment below, let us know if it's the same or better. And just so, so you know, for a point of reference, this is the Empire Tower. So it's the tower that's closest to the pool area, right around the corner from registration and by the lobby bar. There's a little shop at downstairs too. So um, just for reference. Now, right when you check in or right when you get into the room, you're in the entry area, obviously, right? But something caught my eye because I thought it was really cute. And I've never seen these so small before. That's what she said. <laughs> Look at this tiny little do not disturb sign. It's the smallest that I've ever seen. That's hilarious. Probably save me some money on this. So anyway, it's a pretty big entry area. Not that anybody hangs out in the entry area, but there's room for your bags. You know, it's not crowded when you come in. Immediately to the right as you enter is the bathroom, which for a free room, it's actually pretty nice. So you have a large vanity over here. This looks like it's actually um, wheelchair accessible because it's such a wide counter. So that's pretty cool to see that in a basic room. And then big space over here. So maybe it is accessible also because you have a pretty big space here, uh, maybe for a wheelchair. And then the tub over here seems pretty low, but you know, it's a basic bathtub. You know, I won't be getting in it. We're only here for one night. One recommendation that I would make if anybody from MGM Resorts International wanted to ask my opinion, I would get rid of these and do the sliding farm doors that some of the remodeled properties are doing. You save a lot of space by not having to open or close a door in the bathroom. You just slide it open. So uh, maybe that's coming soon. New York, New York is an old property after all. So now let's go into the room. Right here you have your standard um, writing desk. Here you've got USB port and some power. Um, it's a little scratched up, but you know, we're not going to be doing any work, so it really doesn't matter for us. So another thing that's a little bit different uh, from Caesars Entertainment, and we have stated every Caesars property on the strip here, and if you want to opt out of housekeeping, if you don't do it when you check in, you have to call down. They and go through that process, wait, they put it on your account and hope that the message gets to housekeeping. Sometimes they do just still show up. We've experienced that. Here at New York, New York at least, I don't know if it's all MGM properties, you can just put this on your door to decline housekeeping. So that's pretty cool. It's definitely a time saver. You know, you don't have to deal with the phone call and all of that stuff. So that's pretty neat. Is this the same at all MGM properties? You guys let us know. Something else that caught my eye when I walked in that I thought was pretty neat-ish, I guess, depending on what you're coming here for, but um, no weed in the room. So it's a non-smoking, non-weed room. I've never seen this in any of the Caesars properties, so maybe it's okay at Caesars properties. I don't know, but they definitely let you know to leave the, uh, the devil's lettuce at home. So it's actually a pretty big room. This is a one king non-smoking. We always request non-smoking because we do not smoke. Um, so something that catches my eye right away is this massive waste of space right here. This is a pretty old entertainment center. Um, 
basic closets. I guess you probably have two closets here, this side, and then yeah, another one on this side. I have to note though, that there is no refrigerator in this room. Okay, so no refrigerator. Uh, you do have a pretty, it's, it looks like a brand new safe, so maybe they're doing something to this room. But this is old, you can tell this is old. You know, your more uh, modern rooms, flat screen is up on the wall to save space. And typically your writing desk that's over there would be under the flat screen. So here you have your dress, plenty, plenty of room. You know, we're just here for one night, so it's not a huge deal. We won't utilize all of so this. This is a standard One King again. So pretty nice, you know, I do like the modern-ish headboard here. Um, matches the decor in the room, the color scheme. So somebody put some thought behind people staying here. You have a nice chair over here where you could chill, watch TV. Um, I thought this was kind of interesting. I thought like maybe the, this chair would belong over here next to this little stand because you're not really gonna use the stand without sitting, right? We should use that. And then you have your prison style windows here. Um, maybe, you know, in New York, back in the day, they did have long windows, so maybe people didn't get shot in the windows or something, I don't know. And this is the rest of our view. Oh, wait, there is a sliver on this side. So this is kind of weird how <laughs> this is laid out here. We have like, I don't know, an eighth of a window on this side behind this section, and then I don't know. We got a view of T-Mobile Arena. But again, we're here for one night, not to hang out in the room, but to take advantage of our one night here in New York, New York, which means we're gonna be out of the room. Um, so this is pretty cool. I think is pretty funny and I'm not really sure what the purpose is I mean I know what the purpose is but I don't know why they have it here so in the lamps they have you have your power but there's no USB ports in the lamps like some of the other hotels on the strip but they do have a telephone wire plugged into the lamp so do you bring can you bring your own telephone like house phone landline from the house and plug it into your lamp at New York New York that's really interesting. If anybody does that, can you give us an update? And then the same thing on this side, but the actual phone is not plugged into it. I don't know. That's it guys. Let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Let us know if you guys have stayed in New York, New York, if you've done an M Life comp, is this the standard for an M Life comp here at New York, New York, or have you experienced better or worse? We want to hear from you. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, check us out next time.